and from the computer screen to the curb. He's leading by example. I don't know who that first family graduate is going to be. It could be any of our kids walking through our halls, so I just want to make sure that I make that positive impact on them. They may trip and they may fall, but these students at Northeast ISD's Pre-K Academy at West Avenue aren't afraid to try. I love yoga. But for those who rely on lip reading, the traditional mask just doesn't cut it. So a group of volunteers decided to help. These masks just give them that access to be able to see your mouth. These first grade students are moving and grooving in the gym and at home. And PE coach Rachel Kaufman doesn't miss a beat. It is not just, oh, I have to go to school today. No, like we are going to come in here and we are going to have a great time. As part of Northeast ISD's phase in plan for the 2021 school year, a limited number of students are now back on campus as part of phase one, but continue to learn virtually. There are more than 65,000 air filters at campuses across the district, and NEISD technicians are changing them out daily, replacing them with new ones treated with electrostatic cleaners. On the ladder, she's supposed to be six feet apart. Starting next week, many campuses across the district also begin phasing in in-person instruction. For that, Valle has a few tips for parents. My kids knew what were they going to expect here? She's one of many moms from across the district helping to make instrument bell covers for nearly 5,000 middle and high school band students in Northeast ISD. Nobody batted an eye. I'm just excited to be back. It's the first week of in-person practice for the varsity team, led by dance director Stephanie trevino Falan, with many students seeing each other for the first time since March. Even as the sun rises, the football field at Churchill High School has been filled with athletes since 7 a.m. Because for these chargers, practice makes perfect. With each play, outside linebacker Marshall Perez keeps his focus in two places, the ball and on Kara Riki, his sign language interpreter. So I've known Marshall since he was in first or second grade here at Northeast and um, He's just grown into this really awesome student. Perez, now 17, is deaf, but hasn't let that sideline him from doing what he loves. He's been playing for five years now and is a vital part of the team, says defensive coordinator Luke Moody. He has motor, he gets to the football constantly. Uh, overcome a lot. Uh, him and I have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time where we're going through calls and things that he might not hear. And Riki is there for Perez during every huddle, every practice, and every game. Just being deaf in, in a sport, having to adapt just that way has, you know, shown through with all of this COVID stuff. But um, he's done great. Perez says he's thankful for the support system that's helped build his confidence on the field. The high school senior plans to go to college and pursue his passion for football. That's the big part and great thing about athletics. Athletics helps to build and give you the tools to defeat adversity because it's going to happen in life and you have to find a way. In an effort to help those facing homelessness, first grader Ella Fall from Vineyard Ranch Elementary decided to help, creating what she calls blessing bags. They are for people that are homeless. Um, like there's people like on the road, probably on the sidewalk that you see. And they might have like those little signs. Each backpack style bag is filled with things like toiletries, face masks, snacks, and even a handwritten note. Um, that's one of her musts, that she has to have a bag with a note in it. Um, just 
inspiration to keep going, smile, know your love, know that you matter. And when word got out, the community and her classmates also pitched in to help. The people were giving the these bags to, they don't they don't have what we have and we want them to feel like us equally. Ella has made over 100 blessing bags and won't stop there. Next, this seven-year-old plans to make summer bags filled with things like water and sunscreen. This poem is by Ben Harper. I can change the world with my own two hands. Make a better place with my own two hands. Make a kinder place with my own two hands. Her heart is showing through um, and wanting to help so many people. And it's just amazing that we were trying to make 20 bags to try to bless people. And we're blessing over 100 people right now. With boxes as far as the eye can see, the Northeast ISD warehouse is packed to the brim. We're thinking way ahead to try to be as prepared as we can to, to protect our schools and our facilities. Here, there are nearly 7,000 gallons of hand sanitizer, more than 3,000 boxes of gloves, nearly 500 thermometers, just under 8 thousand face shields and over 800,000 disposable and cloth masks. This has been going on really before spring break. We knew this this event was starting to evolve and you know the foreshadowing of things happening and what can we do to prevent these and manage those risks that that we as a school district and as a society face. Mario Ward is the Director of Risk Management and Safety in NEISD. He says a team has been monitoring the pandemic daily, stocking up on PPE equipment and new plexiglass shields. We're going to add protective screening, the uh, sneeze guards that you hear about. We've measured those. Our safety team has been out to our schools and our facilities and continues to do so. We're looking at key areas that the public access is like reception desk, library areas and, and so forth to to make sure we have those barriers in place to protect our employees and the public. The protective screen serves as a physical barrier, separating staff and visitors while still allowing them to see one another. But it's also a reminder to maintain that social distance. We don't want people to walk around a desk to, to get into other people's safety space, I call it, to stay out of that. The, the less touching we have, the, the, the safer it is for everybody. Over 300 plexiglass screens will be placed across district campuses and facilities, along with all of the PPE materials. Well, it's a continuous event. We have to stay the course about safety and health. That's critical, and we have to have that interactive dialogue all along the way. We want to be prepared to meet those needs. Because NEISD cares. 23-year-old Cole McEnany is making a splash. The Reagan High School grad is an accomplished swimmer who back in November made the cut to qualify for the Olympic trials in Omaha, Nebraska. I think it's important to be able to set a goal for yourself and kind of envision yourself accomplishing that goal, whether it be at night when you're going to bed or in the water training in the middle of a hard set. Even in the middle of a pandemic, McEnany was able to accomplish another major milestone, graduating from the United States Air Force Academy as a second lieutenant. Our class is actually, I'm pretty sure, the first class in history to graduate early. Shortly after that, he was accepted into the World Class Athlete Program, allowing him and other Air Force Olympic contenders to train full time for the trials. Now I'm able to take advantage of that opportunity and that program program to be able to train uh, for the Olympics coming up here in 2021 so and at the same time being able to serve as an Air Force officer and be able to serve my country at the same time. He's making waves both in the water and on land and says it's all about grit and determination something the Reagan swim team prepared him for early on. In high school we had practice every morning Monday through Friday you got to have a competitive spirit you gotta have the will to prepare every day in the water and you know to be able to trust the process. And for now, that process includes training and swimming twice a day until the Olympic trials, where this former NEISD kid will compete with swimmers from across the nation to earn a spot on Team USA in the Tokyo Olympics next summer. You gotta be able to want it and um, want the win over the person next to you.
We know that in August, schools will be exclusively online for the first three weeks. Can you explain what that means and the options that parents have for virtual learning? Sure. 